It was one summer, we had a family of three children and I think we desperately needed a holiday. We were headed into Pembrokeshire and in the end we landed up in Marlowe's and it's miles away from anywhere and it was mind-blowing and it's just the sheer expanse of Marlowe's, the beauty of it. It was like a, a refuge, a place of rest, a, a sanctuary. It gave us this tremendous rest and peace and delight. A um, place becomes special, like when you first fall in love. It's something, there's just a spark there that resonates with you and what you enjoy, what you love, visually, um, internally. And then it becomes special because the sight and sounds uh, just bring peace. I'm sure there's not just this one place, but it has been this one place for myself and family because I've ah, experienced so many things. If you find something really special, you want to hang on to it, but you don't want to hide it away. You want to share it. So in fact, it has become a place of refuge and rest and a sanctuary for lots of people. So from that first point, when we first came here camping, to now, a period of, what, 36 years, Marlowe's has never ceased to bring beauty, no matter whether it's spring, summer, autumn or winter. It's like looking at a painting that brings you immense pleasure every time you look at it. Yeah, it was five years ago when Mick died. He was 68, which is fairly young, really, these days. But he, he enjoyed life and lived life to the full. That's the nature of when someone you love dies. Because although, you know, we discovered it together, it doesn't mean everything dies with it. It's like a legacy you leave. And this legacy of Marlowe's Beach will go on to many, many people.